Okay, so I've been biking, you know, 10 miles to Vienna, and, you know, I did uh, 12 miles to Vienna, and I did something like, like 10 miles to uh, Best Buy, whatever, uh, Home Depot. So, um, you know, uh, I am not doing the full stretch, but I'm doing my workouts. So, here we have a uh, setup. I'm not going to show you where I position this, right? But this is basically yesterday, uh, two days ago, someone had stolen uh, two of my minutes. So they stole one, right? And the other one was like, is, was his like buddy or something? So he started acting weird. Like, you know, a fish will swim up like that, indicating danger. Because the, his friend used to swim up like that, you know. He used to swim up like that and hover for a little while. So, some cool person did that. And I thought about it really for a really long time. It can't be Igor Olympia because he was at my fitness, And they both were stolen in different intervals. And Eric, you know, my Pleco died in 2017. My mom came back in 2018. So, I... I started thinking, right, who it was. Jericho Olympia. Uh, she rented this ha this apartment, this basement out to uh, Mr. Solomon. Uh, you know, it was an Airbnb. And she built the basement. It took her $17,000, but it wasn't our house. And I moved back into my room eventually. So I ruined her plants. Um, uh, so she's killing my fish for you know financial reasons. I'm guessing it's financial reasons and not you know an illusion. I'm guessing it might not be Shrek's wife, you know, and my dad might not be Shrek. Like, my dad's a good guy. Like I wouldn't make fun of him. Um, uh, but my identity was stolen by this guy, so they might have been paying him off too. Um, so we're making some progress. We got a fish killer, basically. Uh, she gave a $95 ticket to, uh, Igor Olympia, and Igor went to my fitness, and she took out our gym max, coincidentally. What a, quote, coincidence. And, you know, she walks on the, uh, floor with high decimals again. Right? That floor has unusual... You know, you'll 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 step somewhere, and it will uh, it'll make a little echo. That floor has an unusual uh, uh, a decimal range, like like all wooden floors on you know the like the architects, right? I can I can probably do drywall with the right machinery. Now they're they're lazy. No insulation anywhere. Anyways, back to the story. So she stole two of my fish after a six month hiatus. Very important here. It was very important because uh, I haven't seen a fish disappear, you know, since Tuan left, moved. So she was trying to make it look like that, you know, someone else was doing it like Tuan. Or like Jesus, I don't know. Um, very interesting. So she has her own fish net, her own fish equipment. She went to Pet Smart to take, you know, to get fish equipment. She's been stealing fish basically from the fish tank. Uh, she stole uh, two on the same day at different intervals. Perfect, because I'm, you know, changing the tubes that day. Perfect, you know. It's probably my fault. No. Um, so we, we booby trap this. We're going to tie this uh, under the rock, this particular thing, and, you know, you're, you're not going to see where it's positioned. If you move the rock, you know, I'll move. The wire won't be positioned correctly. And that's, that's how I'm going to fix this. I should have done this a while ago, but I just, uh, you know, like who cares if three, three, uh, you know, 16 cent minnows disappear, you know? I don't. Uh, 
and I didn't I didn't have I had numerous suspects so I was lost at the time like now, now I have one suspect I have one person that I can definitely look at uh, only Eric Olympia was here there we go uh, we're setting up our trap. It's just going to prevent, you know, fish from disappearing. Whether it's every six months or every month like it was happening. Um, these minnows and, like, these $8 plecos won't disappear. Uh, we got uh, someone with a really fucked up mind on that upper window up there. Interesting. Um... Shrek, Shrek passes the test, but, uh, uh, do, is there some sort of, like, you know, ancestral thing going on? Because Shrek's wife is mad at me. I'm not making fun of their appearance, like, you know, a supermodel is a supermodel. Uh, uh, you know, uh, a Greek person's a Greek person. Um, but I'm not gonna believe in magic. So we got, we're weeding someone out, basically. And I can do this the easier way or the hard way. Uh, I can literally wait until, like, our mom and our cat dies through old age. And get the house myself. Uh, the reason why I could do this is because I just don't appreciate that you're killing my fish. Like, I don't mind these people. I don't mind my mom. I don't mind the cat. But you were killing my fish, actually. That I mind. Um, that implies something. You know, it implies a lot of various incidents. It implies, uh, flat moped tires, you know. It implies anything in this basement, you know, you'll get your hands on. So, uh, alright, you have some sort of fucked up, uh, agenda, basically. Because you're really nice and you do give me, uh, gifts. You even, uh, you even manage to, uh, uh, indirectly give me a, a blank, so... You might be a nice individual, but you have an agenda. We're going to try and fight to figure it out. We booby trapped the, the uh, lid of this fish tank. Um, if you move the rock, you're going to have to move. The, if you move the rock, this lid will move. And that lid will reposition itself. Yeah. Because it kind of balances. And, and the water will move. The water will, will be in a different position, and I'll know. I don't have a lock. Like, I'm not going to put a, a, a wire to lock on here. I'm not going to drill through glass. But, uh, this will have to do. Shrek's wife is, uh, fucked, basically. There's no way. There's no way that, uh, uh, Jesus Christ is stealing my fish, okay? Sorry. He's been dead for 2,000 years. There you go. Evidence. 